I have seven days to my first market in the East Coast, and I still have quite a lot of numbers of tasks I need to get done. So if you want to see how I get ready for my market in seven days, this video is for you. Can we go night night so mommy can work? Okay, let me show you something first. This is what we're gonna work on today. This is a bag full of unfinished plushie that I've made over time. We has a lot in here and I know a lot of them need to like still be within weave in the end or adding details like blush eyes, all that stuff. Some of the details on themselves and I know some of them I don't even have enough all the parts but um we'll try to weave in all the ends today first and we'll go from there let's go see we can work on these octopus first and it's like probably like a good 20 15 20 of them let's get to work Alexa play Richardson playlist and that's it we've been one done I mean this is a very um, simple one I don't think I need to add any details afterward because with the color combinations I feel like if I add more anything on it it will look a little too much you know so i think this is ready like to go i can just put them in on the shelf whenever it's finished finished whenever i'm done with all of these that's what i meant <laughs> whenever you weave in this pattern you gotta be really careful because it's so easy you know like when you uh, lift up the stitch in here and you pull through right it's so easy for this part right here to be hooked onto the tentacles and then you will spend like eternity taking it out i mean when it's like eight of them has happened every single time it just start to get like really annoying but other than that i love this pattern worked up super quick super duper quick and it's very cute and then think of like little kids it's also easier for them to hold to bring with them everywhere and some of them like it uh, like to add on hardware so they can like attach it to their pack pack so this is overall a great pattern and then we done another one Ooh. so far this much left to go <laughs> but we can do it we can do it we can do it okay i'm done the whole basket i finished the whole bag Let's put these on the shelf so we can tag them, price them later. This is where I store all the octopus. It's gonna be hard doing one hand. Next, I think we gonna work on some of the chicken nuggets. I had a couple of some that I already finished the weaves in part that I did not made it with the batch in this bag. But it's the best from the bags. I think I can find them all. Wait. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna separate them into different bins and then we can work with it from there, I think. Yeah, because this is so messy and it's really hard to see. This will be quick. I don't have that many to weave in. After I weave them all in, just need to add the blush and it'll be ready to go. Be extremely careful whenever you 
default these type because this type of yarn is extremely fragile so it can break very easily Today the lighting is not good at all. We've been like raining all day over here. But I said, you know what? That ain't gonna stop me from recording today. Because I really wanted to show you guys realistic realistically how much work I'm able to get done in seven days. So if you ever in a situation where you are so tight on deadline, you feel procrastinating, just feel like you're not going to be able to make it, you're going to make it. Because watch me, I'm going to make it. I have like so many, so many things to do. Because we just moved out here. We literally just got in our house not too long ago. Probably like a week. Yeah, stuff is still everywhere. I know some of my supplies still in boxes, but here I am making it work because I love my job and I feel very blessed to get to do things that I love every single day. And I use that to power myself through and make it happen, you know? Sometimes it's not gonna be perfect perfect like what i have pictured in my head but because it's not perfect doesn't mean you shouldn't do it at all you know my first year of running this business there this one market it was supposed to for me be my biggest market of the year and i was so stressed out under like circumstance I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details because we all have difficult circumstances that we went through but I literally just I gave up I did not attend to that market even though I have made like a good amount of stock literally like a very good amount of stock I could have went with what I have but I chose to give up instead it took me a while to pass through that point but here I am now and I'm trying my best every single day to not ever going back to that point. I mean, it was like one of the very low moment in my life, but still. So I know some of you out there might have like been through or even going through what I went through. But I'm here to tell you that you got it. You can do it and I miss it. It will be, it will feel so hard at a time, lonely too difficult because like you gotta do it all by yourself you don't have like um, a big group of employee who's gonna help you but it's okay you know what the first thing you should do write everything out write out everything that you need to do for your market like I'm not joking look at this I have a random pad with things that I still need to do so I can see it like very clearly okay if you get this 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 done then you'll be set you can even go like a step further like you would after you write everything out right in your random then you would categorize it into like the most important things that I need to get done for this market to run smoothly for example like products a certain products that you know for sure is popular at your stall then you for sure want to get it done right and then what is like the second thing that's like it's still important but it's not that crazy important so that when you finish with all the important ones you can come back to that one and then the last category is like not that important without those things or without those tasks being done your market not gonna be like fail terribly yeah and then just like that know visually what you really really need to get done and what you want to get done those are two different things yes and then with that list you can have a peace of mind and focus on complete the task on your friend if, if you try my methods please let
let me know if it worked for you. I'm just curious. I know we all work differently, but you know, sometimes there are things it would work for me, it might work for you too, so why not try it out? No, what do you have to lose? Ta da! And then we're done with another items. We finish uh, weave in the ends and add blush for all the chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna go set this on the shelf right now. Next up, we have Junkie Mushroom Boy and Mini Axolotl. I made like a no sew pattern for this, but I'm not so sure. Do you guys like it? Should I release the pattern? Whoa. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna trim these. Why didn't I trim these before? It actually feels so much better. I was low key a little stressed out. Just like, you know, looking at that big old bag, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I literally gonna have so much stuff to work it through and get it done. Now that I'm actually like putting the time and effort to do it, it's not so bad. We already finished with like all the octopi, which in totals, I think I have like four different, four different colors, right? Blue, tan, greenish tea. Or 10 so I have like 40 octopus ready to go to like be sold and all that stuff see this one since it have so much more white part I think I will add blush to these excuse me I don't know I don't really know what got into me for making this much of pink I promise you, I've never made this much pink before. Okay, these are all set. Now we can go and put them on the shelf. Okay, honestly, I think I would like to work on like a big task before I close my work day. So we're gonna work on chicken. I've done like a bunch of them that already have details like eye, nose, and like clothes on top and stuff like that. But I found there's another four that I haven't done that. So we will go ahead and finish that part. Now we can go on and attach the comb. So this is like a perfect, 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 perfect item for your bands. Okay, I cannot find my ends. Where is it at? I like to add in like all the different texture. So for the eyes, I'm just using like a normal acrylic yarn from uh, Big Twist, Joanne. But for the nose, I'm using the, a thicker yarn. Oh my God, it's so hard to weave through this thing. A thicker yarn is like the Burnett Fleece Forever this like mustard beautiful mustard colors so i'm using it for the nose just like that for the beak why did why did i call that nose honestly or to not like waiting to the last to the week of the event to actually like wing the and the like admin task i just come closer to events instead of like still crocheting where you have to I mean me personally I add price tags and all that stuff and get them into the inventory system so doing that keep me all the information that I need so I'm really trying to finish like all of this today and tomorrow so that on Monday I can start working on like making new products and then start like admin tasks because we have so many like this I love my snip snip because I can just easily go through it snip it out so much easier 
less frustrating. I mean, it's still frustrating. Yeah, I need to get out pretty quickly. Okay. one to go. I'm going to stuff them and close them off so that we can start crochet the combs in. a full box of complete chicken let put them on the shelf today um we're gonna start out with froggy for the froggy there are three different steps um we need to weave in the ends in the bottom right here and then I need to add on blush and glue gum the eyes so I have a bunch of felt eyes I cut out a while ago I like to do I like to add on the eyes first it just make it like so much easier for me and everything and I have a head on this feeling right here I might not have this type of eye 
and do it again. Maybe go back to the safety line. What do y'all think? done we got 15 frogs now let's put them on the show this is where I'm supposed to put all the froggies look at all of these like crowded up some of these I'm gonna put it in our mystery bags because they're like don't have that many left also in different colors but here we go froggy Stay here for now. Ta -da -ta 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 -ta. So many frogs. Yay. Next on our list is gonna be Asolato. A lot of they already finished pretty much like 90%. I only have to weep in the ends and then add the tail fins. But for this one, I ran out of yarn, so we're gonna finish up like make it longer tail and now we can start weaving in try to do it like crochet on the surface of this you usually loosen it down here I'm just gonna like slip knot first and then change slip knot yeah it's very similar okay slip knot and chain that's what we're gonna do slip knot and chain ah crap this is the part where it's instead like here I absolutely like this so much better than like have to change and then sew it on it's so easy to forgot to change the chain one though it will look a little funny if you forget to do so this part start getting hard because it's a little awkward if the next time I work on I should try to do like the single single crochet see how it would look but yeah this is definitely like way 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 faster look one more now fasten off for real though i think i figured it out we should single crochet instead of the slip stitch and chain one the single crochet look way like way 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 better it look exactly just like how if you would just chain and then uh, sew it on look at that it look like the same right oh i like this way better because i really really like this pattern but the part where you have to like chain and sew it on really like my least favorite part and it made me not as motivated whenever I'm working on this item even though it's a great a great seller I don't think I've ever been able to like keep any of these in stock whenever I bring them to market yeah we always sold out of this baby if you've been hesitate <laughs> now you know a way to make it less in your all done so they all now have their fins and the little things down here I forgot what it's called I think it's just the cold fins can I hug them all? Yes. All the axolotl baby. I don't have that much room on the shelf anymore, so I think I'll need to weave these in the bins for now. Yeah. The last thing we need to weave in today is turtle. I only have like two, two, 
two already like bleached in so we still have a bunch of these and I know for sure still need to crochet a couple more heads. I don't know, I might just do like two each. Yeah, so that I can move on because we also have the little baby turtle as well. go in to sew on the stem because this is gonna be a strawberry turtle okay so it's gonna be like that yeah sewing these stem on it's a lot harder than it look so I always make sure to have like leave as long as possible for the tails I think I like it a little like parking up like that yeah so we'll go through this this what is that pop off careful be careful please just like that one body done just need to put the head right here and then we finish because it's gonna be so cute I'm adding details on the last shelf now I've decided to only make two strawberry turtle for each color the pink and the turquoise instead of make like a whole army because if I want to make a whole army that's mean I need to crochet a couple more different body parts and I feel like the time could be used to prep other things and this is more in the more expensive price range anyway so I don't really need to bring a ton because I don't expect people will just scoop all of these big ones the strawberry turtle is the most expensive item in my booth so yeah I think it's best if I can just like put a pause right here and start working on different things but this time we only gonna have four big strawberry turtle we also need to attach the small strawberry turtle I think we can have like three and on how many stem how much stem I have oh I must snap a photo for Instagram real quick I'm getting to our next part for the turtle is the one where I don't exactly have the confidence which is embroidery eyes lately I've been thinking about it a lot and I wanted to start for all the items that are very popular amongst young kids just because I want it to be the safest possible for kids to play with them and I don't want anything like oh because of the safety eye so the parent would be hesitant to buy this a toy for their kids okay it's really not neat I'm just gonna use the big like super super big safety eye because they were actually like really secure so this is what happening I have like a mug of hot water and then the backing the safety eye I put them in here to for And I'll let it soak for a hot minute. Yes, I have my chopstick because trust me, you do not want to have your bare hand touch the hot water in there like at all. And next up, we will prepare the eyes. I do all blue eyes. Blue eyes are the prettiest eyes of all. I love blue eyes, so I got a big pack of all blue eyes. I really, really like these eyes from Amazon. No, it's not. These are from AliExpress. But the eyes quality is really good if you buy it from the right manufacturer. And then there's my turtle. Let's see, where can I put these? And for this, we absolutely, absolutely need this. Let's see. One stop me enough. Take the towel, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, I think it's flexible enough. So put it in here. I might need this. Okay, might need to stand up for this. 
Oh, heard that? These baby one day already on. They will not come off. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, y'all. I finished all four of them. And they are like above beautiful. You cannot tell me that they're not cute. Oh my gosh, they're so big. Okay, I think I <gasps> Look at that! See my turtle I'm having in my arms? They're so big, they very like <laughs> Look at their leg. This is a party. This is absolutely a party. Okay, we'll go put them on the show. Now that we're done with the big turtle, here's come the little turtle. I made like four of the strawberry one, and only one original. And I really don't think we have enough time to crochet any more of the original one. So just gonna pass for now. We'll need to put in the eyes for this baby. And then weave in the ends of this and add on all the little details. Seem like a very doable job. Okay, let's get into it. Just like that, and we done three strawberry turtle and one original turtle. They can go on the shelf now. I am super duper excited for this one because this is the last thing that we need to take care of, which is add blush on the um, pocket bee. And then we literally finish all. Then we're gonna be finished all of the plushies, like all the projects. We don't have to worry about plushie no more. Are we all done with plushie? Oh my god! I don't know if you're excited, but I am super, 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 super duper excited! Oh my gosh, guys, I was able to finish so many wigs in just two days and a half. I'm like beyond happy and I feel so much more ready for this coming up market. But if you would like to see the rest of this market prep, I suggest you to check out this video next where I'm gonna show you all the little admin stuff, little details that need to go into preparation for the market. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video. I will see you in this video next.